lifted. I really just feel like I want to get into like the autumn exciting bits because oh, O M G. Hi you guys, welcome back to yet again another video of mine. You are watching I'm on it here on a tour beauty. For any of those who are new to my channel, I'm just a crazy mum of two um, who loves creating content for you guys and who, by the way, absolutely loves this time of year. Autumn, winter, whatever it is, cosy clothes, cosy weather, cosy everything, I'm all about that life. Um, and anyone who is returning, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Before we get into the video, I'm just going to um, put my Instagram page over here. It is at Tall Beauty. All of my platforms are at Tall Beauty, Instagram, TikTok, um, Snapchat, which I've never used in years. But yeah, if you want to add me and see nothing, yeah, you can do. But yeah, all of my platforms are Tall Beauty. So please do make sure you guys follow me on the other platforms as well. But without any further ado, let's get into this haul. Oh my god, it's so heavy, I can't even lift it. Oh my gosh, okay. Maybe we should not do that bag lifting thing of our haul, but I've got three oh, bags of stuff from B&M, which I am pretty psyched about. Um, I am so excited about this haul, guys. I'm excited about everything at B&M. I haven't been to a B&M store, I would say, in way over probably eight to nine, maybe even 10 months. I could even say a year, to be honest. It has been that long since I went to a B&M. It just got very boring. Um, there was always long queues, and I just never felt like I wanted to go. But recently, I saw on um, a few YouTubers, YouTube, um, they just did some B&M hauls and wow like i was impressed with the stuff that i saw but boy wow was i impressed with the stuff i saw i was pretty excited about the things that i saw in their haul so i thought i'm gonna go over and just check it out myself so i'm not gonna section or maybe i'll try and do things in sections but i'm gonna try and do a really quick haul and show you guys everything which i got Let's go into like the cleaning stuff first because I feel like that is one that we always want to kind of quickly get out of the way and then get into the good old stuff. So first things first, I picked up some of these. Are they called Oust or Oust? Oust um, descalers. I I live for these. Um, I unfortunately, like a silly sausage, bought a kettle um, which is a clear kettle which you can see through and it is not a good idea do not buy one of those transparent kettles because they're the worst thing i live in an area where we've got really 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 bad water it's really bad um to the point where i have to descale my kettle like once a week um or even twice sometimes because that's how bad it is um so i picked up um three packets these were only for a pound and they only have three in them i'm pretty sure a few years ago they used to have four in them but yeah, they've got three in them. Yeah, three in them. So I just thought I'm gonna pick up three packets. It's better to have more than to have less. I then needed to pick up some fabric softener. I really prefer the gold orchid one. I've actually got um, some fabric softener already. I believe I have like one and a half um, of this already. But I'm not gonna lie. Is anyone else, and please do comment down below, is anyone else those crazy people who just put in like, two lidfuls of the fabric softener because I do. I want my clothes smelling extra nice, especially when you use like blankets and bed sheets. So I always seem to go through this really quick, but I always go to like B&M or Home Bargains because I always find it's cheaper there compared to Tesco's. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I just feel like it is. So anyways, I picked this up um, from there. So I got one of these and like I said, it was in the gold orchid one. I then was on the hunt for some imperial leather um, bath soaps. Oh no! Guys, I'm such a wally. Because these aren't bath soaks, I picked up the shower creams instead. whoops a daisies um, yeah, I don't know. But they have these really nice imperial leather ones. They always have these in home bargains. But the home bargains next to me seems to be out of this. I was actually looking for like the goldy colored one just because of autumn. So I always put the white one in during like winter and summer. And I always get the goldy looking, creamy type, uh, beigey looking one 
during um, during when um, during like the autumn season so up until now and I'd probably say like end of October mid October I would like to get that one but I couldn't find that one so I just ended up getting the white one um, I'll see if I can attach a picture here but this is something I just have um, in my bathroom and I just have these bottles I never really use the bath salts but um, the kids do like to use the bubble bath so I always do get the bath soaps but anyways I picked these up and they've got some new packaging it's called cotton clouds and white cashmere so I picked up two of these um, these are for £1.25 still can't believe I picked up shower creams but hey hell I'll try and do something with them and Try go back and I might just find the autumn one um, in the bath soak, so let's see. Oh, seems like actually guys, I didn't pick up just one. I knew that wasn't just me to pick up one. Yeah, I picked up two guys, so I did think I am not that person to pick up one of these. I always pick things up in sets, but yeah, so I got two of these. I then picked up these Flash Power Mop refills. I love these refills, they're so good. This comes in a pack of 16, and if any of you guys are watching my current vlogs, or if you are following me on my Instagram, which if you're not, why are you not? Um, but um, I actually, um, I've got construction going on at home, which means my floor is extra, extra dirty. Um, so I just get through a lot of these, so I just need to refill on these. Again, I had about five left in my old box, but guys, I'm not that person who likes to run out to the shops like very lastminute.com. So I picked up a box of these. I really just feel like I want to get into like the autumn exciting bits because oh, cleaning is good. I love cleaning. I love me a bit of cleaning, but oh, I found some good things in uh, B&M. So I just want to get to it. But okay, perseverance, someone. We're going to get through this. Okay. I then picked up some duck. This was a limited edition one. I don't know, like, we only chuck this down the toilet. I don't know why I get so excited about duck though. Um, I just love it. This one is a cosmic peach, orchid peach, and sandalwood. Um, so yeah, I picked up one of these. Um, I've got a whole collection of these. Sometimes I don't even need to go buy these for like a good old few months because that's how many I get together. So I only picked up one of this. I am sure I only picked up one of this because I've still got many um, limited edition ones from like earlier on in the year. So picked up one of these. Come on guys, you need your toilet to smell good, especially when you're putting that gurk down there. Um, I then picked up some Mr. Muscle. Um, this is just some drain gel. We actually buy something else. I don't know what it is, but it's a lot stronger. A very, very strong um, thing that you can chuck down your drains. I don't know what it's called. Jaggy knows what it's called, but that is really strong. And it's not something I feel like I can pour down because it's a bit like acidity stuff. So I pick up this one and I'm gonna pour this down the bath. Um, I just feel like it does work. And yeah, I mean, what can you describe about this clean thing, right? What can you describe? Can you guys hear things jingling? This is why I was like, I need to do my haul ASAP because I did not want things to break. So next I picked up some deodorant. Um, I've been using this Dove um, coconut with jasmine flower scent for a very, very, very long time now. I just find this works the best. Um, it controls me from um, yeah, sweating. And I just feel like it smells the best. Uh, I probably smell the same. To be honest, um, but yeah, there's nothing else I can talk about these. Again, I just feel like when you pop into your local Tesco's or something, I just find they've they've always got things on club card offers. So I always seem to think they're a lot more expensive there. Where I find in like B&M or Home Bargains, you can pick up these kind of things a lot cheaper. So I picked up these. I then picked up some of these Zaflora anti-bacterial. Um, Cleaning wipes, I saw these again on someone's um, YouTube and I usually, like I use my, um, what is it called, your, um, like your cloth, your microfiber cloth. So I have a microfiber cloth which I pretty much keep in each area of the house, like I have one for the office, I have one for the, obviously the bathroom separate, one in the kitchen area and I even keep one separate for the living area. But I always am like washing them in Zaflora as well, like regularly throughout the week. But I just thought this is so much better, like rather than 
using that or using a spray you can just use this because I find when you're spraying you're using a lot of like other tissue so this is really good that it dries up really quick and this is like a very big like meaty pack as well it's got 108 large wipes and I just thought it's really good and it comes it this one that I bought is in the what is it the midnight blooms and I love the midnight blooms one so I'm trying to like open it which area can you open it from? Okay. Oh, I'm trying to like open this so I can get a sniff of it. Not that you guys can sniff this with a camera, if only. That would be great. But yeah, um, I just picked up one of this. And now I feel like I should have picked up two. But I really wanted to test this out and test the smell out. Especially in like the living area. Because the kids have been eating in the living area. Since we've like restricted a lot of spaces in the house whilst the construction's going on. So I just find these are really good to just wipe off the coffee table where they've had their like breakfast, lunch or dinner. So picked up a pack of these. Then on to the only food item which I got. I'm just trying to stop myself from snacking and buying biscuits or just literally just snacking. So in order to stop myself, I just had to not pick up stuff. But they had a whole, they had two and a half aisles dedicated to food actually and I'm really surprised that they do because they never used to have that many aisles but they had a whole two and a half aisles dedicated to it but I picked up some of these multi-grain chocolate balls these are just back to the future I just thought Harvey will just look at the packaging and just get a little bit excited they're I mean, nothing different to his typical Weetos although they were a lot cheaper a third of the price that we pay for the Nesquik Weetos so I picked these up and I just thought he'll be a little bit excited just because it looks like Back to Future and stuff and he's kind of like into all of that so I just picked up one pack of these. I then wanted to feel very autumnal in my vlogs and just very autumnal just cozing up on the sofa so I saw this mug. Again I saw um, this type of mug on someone on YouTube. Like I am such, like people are such influencers, like they're influencers, YouTube influencers. They are really good influencers because they're influencing me to spend my monies. But I saw this one here, guys, and it's just so cute. I saw the original one, which was the grey at the bottom. Um, that was the one I was looking for, but they didn't have the ones with the grey, but they had this one. And I thought, you know what? This looks a lot more autumn-y, like me holding this with my pumpkin candle burning in the background, with my little pampers, with my fireplace. This just feels like a lot more autumn -y. so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pick up one of these. I didn't pick up any more, I thought I'll just pick up one and I'm just waiting for my kitchen to get done. And then I'll probably start gathering a few more kitcheny bits, but I picked up one of these. I then saw these bad boys. Oh my gosh, guys. Again, I saw this on so many people's um, B&M haul and on so many like Instagram pages and they just look so good especially with this like it's like this goldy brownie I would say it's more brownie handle it's so cute guys these are for £3 each and I love that they can be stacked as well so you can just stack these in your cupboard and you don't even have to worry about like such a large mug taking up space I bought two of these just because I thought it'll be cute maybe I can give Jeggy some in this, um, like, you know, this, but he, he's never really home, so that's why with the other mug, I only got one of them, but these are just so cute, guys, I saw these, and when I saw these, these, like, this and the other item I'm going to show you now are literally the reason why I even went into B&M, so for these mugs over here, they were a little bit expensive, they were on £3, but I guess £3 for mugs nowadays is kind of the going price. The other mug was for £2.50. So I don't know. I feel like I feel like £3, £4 are the going rate for mugs nowadays. But yeah, they only had two guys. So I literally just picked up both. And these have been jingling in the bag for the past two days. And I was like, I'm going to before these break and before like anything happens, girl, you need to take these out and start using these. I might have myself a nice little coffee in here later on or maybe like a green tea tonight and a coffee in the morning. But yeah, these two were something which I got. I then picked up an Airwick. It's nothing um, on the limited edition side and it's nothing which is an autumn smelling one. I'm not always a fan of the like apple apple something berries and those kind of um, fresheners. I've bought them in the past and they've kind of just gone to waste. 
Um, but I really love this vanilla bean one. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to... Why didn't it even smell? Mmm. Oh, guys, I just love this. Um, I have a um, one of these little pots which have missing the lid. And I just spray this in my bathroom every time I finish with it. But, oh, I love this one. The white vanilla bean. This is so good. It's just so refreshing. And it just smells so nice and clean. So, picked up one of these. And then, guys, are you even ready? Are you even ready for what I'm going to show you guys next? Gee, sorry for how hyper I'm getting over this, but I am so goddamn in love with this wreath, guys. Look how beautiful. You would never think B&M would have something like this. They have literally upped their game. They have literally upped their game. I saw so many wreaths this year. Like, last year was wreaths, right? But this year was wreaths. Like, I saw so many... Um, Hobbycraft have got so many like with dry um, flowers and things like that you can add things to pumpkin styles B&Q had so many um, but this one here that B&M stores have and I am just like wow and the price guys because the ones in like B&Q and stuff they're like 25 35 they got up to like 45 and you can like look at so many online which is so expensive. This Harvest Autumn Wreath was £15, guys. Literally, don't walk, run to your local B&M store, guys. Literally, run. Just to give you a quick heads up, though, this wreath, um, when I was looking for it, I literally went to B&M for this and the cups, as I just, the mugs, as I just mentioned. But when I went into B&M, I couldn't find the... Um, I couldn't find the wreath, so I had a look in all of the autumn place. They had loads of like um, this kind of um, like pots and things, uh, but they didn't have any of the wreaths there. I actually moved myself forward to where the Christmas decorations were, and then where the Halloween stuff was, and this was actually by the Halloween stuff. So if you can't find it, and if you do go in, try have a look in that section. Don't give up. I literally walked the entire store of B&M, even the mugs. I had actually just found the Amazon style mugs, the ones where you've got the half dip but it doesn't touch the uh, bottom of the mug. I found those style um, mugs at first, um, then I saw these right at the end. So please walk into your entire B&M, but literally I'm so happy about that and I was like, I need to sit down and film my B&M haul today because I want to um, put this up on my front door. But yeah, oof, now that I've calmed myself, let's move on to the last two items of our B&M haul. So one thing I got was this. This is something very similar. This doesn't even match my decor. I'm not, I don't have anything black in my house. But this is just a sink caddy. Um, my current one is a lighter gray, or is it maybe even like a beige or white? But um, it's just now, um, it's just a bit ruined. The bottoms are a little bit ruined, so I just needed to get another one. And like I said, again, until my kitchen isn't fully complete, I don't really know what I'm gonna have in and out of my sink. So I just thought this is really cute, it's appropriate. I think I might get, if you guys can see in the picture, there's a small little clear bottle which fits in here. Um, I might actually go on the search for a very small little bottle which I can put very liquid in, that can just sit in here nicely. Um, but yeah, I just got something like this. I'm not too worried about the way the aesthetic of the kitchen looks because at the moment there isn't any. So I picked up this one here for £3.50. My last item I'm very um, chuffed about as well is these over here. So these are, they were a little bit pricey, they were for £8 but given what it's got it's amazing. So it comes with this beautiful glass tray at the bottom and then it has both of these bottles, one says lotion and one says soap. So I don't know if you've ever seen on my Instagram, um, it's been a while now, but probably like sometime last year, but I bought something similar from Marks and Spencers. Um, m and had a bamboo tray, and if you've had a look in any of my pictures, I've got a lot of kind of like uh, bamboo-ish, wooden-ish stuff like in the bathroom, so I thought it sat really well on my sink. Incorrect. 
bamboo and everything gets really um, weird with water and the tray started leaving black marks and these bottles started going all black from the bottom. Um, so I picked up these ones here and I just think it's perfect because you know what, you can put anything in there at the moment. Um, as I had my in-laws living with us, um, I just found like the hand wash, not so much the lotion, but the hand soap was just getting like rinsed out really quick. Um, so it was getting too expensive to top up from M&S. Um, and I also saw that um, the White Company also have something similar. They have a tray where you can put two bottles. But their bottles, I believe you have to buy their bottles to fit in there because a the circle is just big enough for that. So I saw these ones. Wasn't too pleased about the black because I don't really have anything black in the bathroom. So I would have preferred them in silver. But I had a look in the entire like nearby sections. They only had these in black. So these are the ones I got and I'm super excited. Like I said, I'm so excited about some of these things like... Um, some of the cleaning stuff as well, like the wipes and stuff, call me boring. But the mugs, the wreath, and like just things like this, I was so excited and I really wanted to just start using everything. You know, and just buy something new, guys. You guys just want to start putting it, placing it around the house and just start using everything. But yeah, this was my um, big, not so big, whatever you call it, exciting, not exciting, um, B&M bargains, B&M bargains? B&M haul. Um, and yeah, I am very happy with my purchases. I will be visiting that B&M store um, quite quick again. They had a lot of Christmassy stuff as well, guys. Um, very soon you'll see the vlog of where I went into B&M. Um, so when I go in there, I do show you guys around a little bit as well. So you guys can have an insight to everything which is new in there as well. But this was it, guys. This was my um, B&M haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below. And by giving this video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys want to see more of these. I love doing these hauls. And I'd love to bring more um, of these hauls over here onto my channel. Um, please do not forget... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly do hit the subscribe button and do help the Tall Beauty family grow. And again, um, here is my Instagram page. It's at Tall Beauty. Do go over there as well. I do upload, uh, I do upload outfit pictures and I do upload um, just kind of things that I do in my daily life. I've uploaded reels and things like that. Um, so do have a look on there and do give that a follow as well. But um, this is it from me, guys. This was my entire haul. And hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully I shall see every single one of you in my next one. Bye, guys.